Hello everybody, I'm Dave, welcome back to Sailing Madness. Now in this episode, with a bit of luck, if the winds play ball, I'm going to be crossing my first ocean. We'll talk more about that in a while, but first of all, it's a bit of an exciting day today because I'm having a brand new Bimini cover fitted on the back of the boat. I'm also having the tied old canvas from my spray hood replaced at the same time. Now before I left on the Portugal trip, I engaged a local company to complete this project and I also asked them to install three solar panels, two in the Bimini and one on the spray hood. So all of that is being fitted today. So with a bit of luck, by close of play, I'm going to have a nice new Bimini, a new spray hood and three brand new solar panels recharging my batteries. Right, well it's been a bit of a long day, the job is done and I think the Bimini is absolutely superb and I'm so glad I also replaced the canvas on the spray hood as well uh, because I think the two brand new canvases just finished the boat off lovely. Well pleased with the three solar panels as well that's been stitched into the uh, roof of both of those covers and as you can see they're all now wired in. Got the wires from the solar panels coming into the switch here so I can turn the power off if I need to. Uh, from there it goes into the MPPT controller and from the controller down into the batteries and I've also got the uh, uh, this controller has got the Bluetooth on it so using the Victron Connect app I can monitor over the next few days and weeks how much charge I'm getting into the batteries. Now you can probably hear it's raining outside at the moment and it's also about five o'clock in the evening so there's not a lot of juice going into the batteries but I don't need the juice at the moment because I'm still in the marina and I'm on shore power but certainly over the next few weeks and months I'm going to be seeing just how how much charge I get through this and through the solar panels into the batteries but well pleased oh and by the way as a little bonus as well when we're doing the install earlier on today we had a bit of a low fly pass from the RAF Well, there you go that doesn't happen around here very often I think I was well lucky to have caught that on camera uh, I'm told that that plane is nicknamed the Growler and as it flew low over the Conway River this afternoon uh, you can see why it's got that nickname right now credit where credit is due I'd like to say a big thank you to Jake at Automate Covers for supplying and fitting my new Bimini cover and also incorporating my requirements for the solar panels from start to finish Jake has been a pleasure to deal with so if you are in the North Wales or Northwest area and you need something similar on your boat then please give Jake a call at Ultimate Covers and tell him Dave sent you. So what about this ocean crossing that I mentioned at the start of the video? Well with a bit of luck it's looking like there's going to be a window of opportunity to sail from here across the Irish Sea to Dublin. Now I know that's not a massive ocean to cross but hey you've got to start somewhere. Now the plan is I'm not going to go on my own I'm going to be going with my new sailing buddy a guy called Robin. Now he co-owns a boat that is literally opposite me here at Conway Marina and I called him up over the weekend and I said hey do you fancy a trip to Dublin to go get some Guinness and he thought it was a great idea. So with a bit of luck it's looking like the winds are favourable maybe not tomorrow but certainly the next day so we could be leaving in the next 24 to 48 hours.
Okay, so we are out, we're in the channel, and it's a lovely day as always. And as promised, my new sailing buddy, this is Robin. Say hello, Robin. Hello. Now, Robin is a, a joint owner of a boat that's uh, opposite mine. And last time we came out in the channel, we came out in uh, our turn, That's right. which is a Beneteau? No. As you know, as you know. 34.9. Now, last time we came out here in Robin's boat, there was no wind. So we motored around for a, an hour or so, had some lunch and came back in. I think there's a bit more wind today though, isn't there? It's a bit better, definitely a bit better. So the plan is we're going to be making our way now to Hollyhead. We're going to stop there the night and then we'll cross the Irish Sea tomorrow morning and head for Dublin. Right, so we've been going now for four hours and as you can hear, the motor is still on. And that means we're not sailing, we're motor sailing, but the wind is right on the nose. And this happened last time we came out together, didn't it? Yeah, no wind, no wind when we're out <laughs> together. Not allowed. At this rate, we might not be going to Dublin, but we'll see. Come on out, come on out for a Guinness, he said. Yeah. <laughs> It'll yeah. be easy, he said. Yeah. We'll sail all the way, it'll be amazing. Uh, we've come around quite far though because you might be able to see in the background Pont Linus which is where a few episodes ago I took my daughter and her friend paddle boarding when they got a bit seasick. So we've gone a little bit further this time so I'm personally heading into uncharted territories because I've never been this far around the island before. Robin you've been around here a few times though so you're the expert at the I moment have aren't you? Quite a while ago but yeah we will be fine. But we've got to turn now to port, so hopefully when we do that the, uh, the wind will still be strong enough for us to sail and then it won't be dead into wind. We'll be heading off a little bit and we're on a, a, a close haul, but uh, we should be able to get both sails out very soon. And at Hollyhead we'll look like we've sailed in with skill <laughs> and panache. Yeah. yeah. So we turn to port a little bit now, so we're off the wind. Very close hauled, but we've got both sails up and uh, we're cruising along. Very nice. Still got the motor on for a little bit of extra push. So we're motor sailing into the sunset. Eight knots. Is that fast we're going or is that the wind? That's the, we are going like the wind. Oh. <laughs> Eight knots we're doing, yeah. Well, there's not a breath of wind out here. It's lovely to be out on the water. It's about half past seven in the evening. It's a nice, warm summer's evening off the Anglesey coast. Beautiful. Well, the wind completely died. We are making our way now into Hollyhead. We've got about probably two miles to run and we'll be at our little anchorage for the night. Our first port of call, hopefully on the way to Dublin tomorrow. Although we've just been having a conversation about the winds, haven't we? Yeah, it might not be cure Guinness or be genius <laughs> to cross no, tomorrow. No, we're not sure if the winds are going to be uh, there for us to cross tomorrow. So if that's the case, we'll do a little change of plan and we'll just circumnavigate Anglesey, which would be nice because I've never actually sailed on the uh, on the south coast. So it'd be nice. Yeah. I mean, we know a few anchorages that have pubs, don't we? Definitely, definitely, as anchorages without pubs would just be fundamentally wrong apparently. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and pubs that don't sell Guinness is fundamentally wrong as well. <laughs> but the two big ferries are coming into sight. So is the uh, the breakwater for the uh, for what was the marina. Got blown away in a gale a few years ago, didn't it? But the sailing club is still there and we're going to be picking up one of their mooring boys. We look like we're here and we're still 20 minutes away because it's going to take 20 minutes to get all the way down that seawall. It's that big. 
And you're saying it's one of the biggest in the country, is it? Yeah, I think so. It might be the biggest. Wow. Hollyhead Sailing Club launch. Hollyhead Sailing Club launch. This is sailing vessel Qdos. Sailing vessel Qdos. Over. Sailing vessel Qdos. This is Hollyhead Sailing Club. Hollyhead Sailing Club, this is Sailing Vessel Kudos. Uh, we're just on the uh, approach now into the breakwater. Uh, just requesting a mooring ball for the night, please. Hi Kudos, this is Sailing Club launch. Um, yeah, no problem, you make your way to the outer port side of the mooring. Um, you want to pick up a hipper boy. They've got strops on them, probably six, seven feet length. Just pick it up and lash it on and um, go from there. What colour did you say they were? Red and yellow, weren't they? Red and white? Oh well, we'll see in a minute. You okay? Yeah, about five feet. One foot. First time, we're on. Well, we have arrived, we are in Hollyhead. Got the mooring buoy, first time of asking. First ever time picking up a mooring ball on this boat. Did it during my training, but this was the first time on the boat, so well pleased with that. Lovely old place, big old place as well. Lots of boats here. Don't know what I imagined, but I didn't think there was gonna be this many boats around. Well, the sun's about to set, and hopefully the winds are gonna be strong enough tomorrow to push us all the way to Dublin. Right, so it's the start of day two. Didn't get much sleep last night. Too much rain, too much clashing around, too much noise from the wind vane. But we're leaving Holyhead and we're going to Dublin. The winds are favourable, so that's the decision. And I think that's the right one. What do you think, Robin? Definitely, it's <laughs> definitely the right one. And the only way I'm gonna get my promised Guinness. <laughs> but I'll definitely come back to Holyhead again. Nice place. Especially seeing as we didn't pay because they never came and collected our money. <laughs> the ferries aren't moving, are they? Nope. Nothing out of the smokestacks, so that's a good sign. No, yeah. <laughs> They'll be chasing you out. I'm surprised the launch hasn't chased it out, demanding money. <laughs> He'll have you down for next time, don't worry. Charge Double, bubble. Double. <laughs> Charge me double. Off, is it? You for it? Yeah. I'm making Rob do all the work today. Well, we're sailing very close hauled. We're doing 4.1 knots in uh, 15 knots of breeze. And the sun's just come out. We've got our tea and our coffee. <laughs> Life couldn't be better, could it? So good. So good. So good. <laughs> Sail all the way.
Okay, so we're, we're close hauled at the moment. Uh, we've got about 14 knots of wind and we're doing about four knots. And that's Hollyhead Coast Guard. Call it someone else, not us, fortunately. And um, we've just got another boat that we're watching that's going to cross our path, which I thought was a little sailing boat and turns out to be a massive tanker. So we'll see that in a minute. <laughs> And at the moment, Guinness o'clock is 11 o'clock tonight, so we need to do something about our speed and direction, I think. Right, so we're having a little bit of a nervous moment. Um, the new AIS transponder that I fitted on the boat is working superbly. And as you can see, this green vessel here is coming straight towards us. Um, the red triangle is us. This is the Arclo Vanguard that is heading straight towards us. And if I pan you round, you can see it, I'm not sure you can pick him up on the camera, but he's uh, he's only about a mile away heading straight for us. So I think when he gets to within a mile, the AI alarms will go off. So we just wait to see what happens. But if he gets much closer, I'll call him up on the radio and say, Oi. Right, as you can see, didn't need to call him up on the radio. He's done the right thing and he's passing behind us. So well done to the Arclo. What was it, Arclo Vanguard? No. That's it. Arclo Vanguard. The skipper was awake. <laughs> but there's another one coming now. But I think he's going to be much further behind. Right, okay, so we had lunch. We've been dodging ships. I've had a little sleep. Uh, Robin's gone down for his little sleep now. And uh, for the first time on the crossing, we can see Ireland. And also for the first time on the crossing, we can't see Wales behind us. Let me just show you on the map where we are. So as you can see on the map then we are well and truly halfway across and well and truly working our way to Dublin. Uh, you can probably hear the engine is back on and that's because as forecast the winds have died. We had lots of nice winds earlier on, unfortunately they weren't going in the right direction. We were really on a, a close haul as far as we could push the boat into the wind uh, but we're still well and truly off course for Dublin. We're actually heading more towards Wicklow uh, for most of the morning but um, now the winds have died we've been able to alter course and we're heading directly to Dublin. So we've kind of gone like this. So a bit of a long way round, but uh, that's what you have to do sometimes when you're sailing. But we're slowly, surely getting there. And it's a lovely day to be out on the water. Bit cold, bit chilly, but it's lovely and calm now, sunny, and it's just great being out. Loving every minute. Well, it's getting close now. We can almost smell the Guinness, eh? Oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. It's gonna be more than one, that's for sure. Yeah. So we've been doing about five knots, sailing most of the way. Uh, we've got less than nine miles to go now, so we should be there in about two hours. So uh, It looks like it's just there, we can touch I, it. It's, it's so near and yet so far, isn't it? Nine miles is nothing on the sea, by the looks of it. No. It's definitely can smell the Guinness, as you say. But it's been a good crossing, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, fantastic, yeah, really enjoyed it. Dodging the ships mid-channel, that was my best bit, I enjoyed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like they sent the welcome party out to greet us in. Hundreds of them. An impressive place this. You can have it taken by a rowing boat, there's a first. We've come all the way across the Irish Sea for this. Cheers. Cheers. Worth the trip. Worth every second of it, isn't it? <laughs> We're here.